Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an introduction for another project pan. So this will be my first project pan that isn't including any makeup products because today I'm just going to focus on uh, hair care and skincare. So the first product is one that I've had for quite a while and that is the Pixi Glow Tonic 5% um, Glycolic Aloe Vera and Ginseng. Um, I bought this a couple years ago now and I really really like this product. The only issue now is that I found more effective um, like acid peels that I like more. Um, so this one has kind of gotten neglected in my collection. Um, but I have quite good progress on this at the moment. That is my starting point right there. So I can probably finish this off in a couple of weeks if I set my mind to it because recently I haven't used this at all and that's why I'm popping it into this project. So I have one more toner in this project and that is from She Moisture and it's the Africa Black Soap Problem Skin Toner. Um, and I bought this back when I lived in the States. Back then I used to have way more um, like breakouts and pimples and stuff. Since then my skin has really really cleared up and I don't really have that much issues with breakouts anymore. Um, but I just want to get through this before it goes bad since it is more of a natural product. Um, and my starting point for this product is right there. So moving into the serums that I have in this project. The first one is from Estee Lauder and it is a cult favorite. It's the Advanced Night Repair uh, Serum. I've had this for about two years now and I really want to use it up before it expires. Um, I don't have that much left of it and I'm right there. Uh, but this is the 50ml bottle, so it is a little bit larger than your regular serum. But I don't think I will have any issues finishing this up. Um, I just kind of uh, gravitated towards other serums recently, so that's why I popped it into this project. So I have another serum that is kind of close to being done, and that is from Lancome, and it's the Energy De V um, Serum. Uh, this is, it says the Smoothing and Glow Boosting Liquid Care. And as you can see, I don't have very much left of this either. Um, this is also a 50ml bottle, so it is again a little bit larger than your regular serum. But I don't think I will have any issues going through this either, because I am quite close to finishing this already. So the last serum type of product I have is from Clarence, and it's one of their uh, little like drops that you put into other serums or your moisturizer. And this one is the Booster Detox. I honestly can't tell much of a difference when I use this product, but uh, I have it and I want to use it up before it goes bad. And my starting point on this product is right there. Um, and since you only use a couple of drops um, when you use this, I'm not sure how quickly I will be able to go through this. But I will make a mental note to try to incorporate this more into my routine. I have one eye cream that I want to finish in this project, and that is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye uh, Concentrate. And that is my starting point right there. So again, I don't have too much left of this, but it's just one that I want to work out of my collection. Um, so that is the next product. So moving on to face masks, I have two from Origins. And I'm going to start with this one, which is the Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. And I am currently at that black line. So again, I don't have much left of this, but recently I bought another kind of overnight mask. Um, and I found that I started reaching for that more um, and I just want to finish this off before I move on to that product because again I don't have much left of this. Another mask in this project is the Clear Improvement Mask um, and again I don't have too much left of this but this is one that I can't use as often as the Drink Up Intensive Mask uh, but I will make a note to use this more often. Uh, I'm really bad at remembering to use masks um, in the middle of the week, so hopefully by putting this into the project I will try to remember to use them more often. So the last skincare product, if you can count it as that, is a lip balm from Fix and Rouge. And uh, this is the Coco Rose um, Blush Pink Lip Balm, I guess. And this is my current progress, so you can see where I am right there. Um, I have about a bit over half of this to go um, and I don't know how fast I will go through this because you don't need that much when you use it but I will put this in my makeup bag and try to remember to put this on every single morning when I do my makeup. 
So quickly before we move into uh, hair care, I have one fragrance that I want to use up. And this is a body spray from Victoria's Secrets in the scent Incredible. Um, I bought this a couple years ago now and um, back then Victoria's Secret was all the hype um, and everyone wanted to try their body sprays but I have two more of the, these uh, but I like them way more and I'm just trying to use this up and that's my starting point right there. So the last two products in this project are both hair care products and they're both from Chi and the first one is the Chi uh, 44 Iron Guard. So this is just the heat protectant that I use before I blow dry my hair or curl it. And um, my starting point for this product is right there. So I have a little bit to go but I only wash my hair once every week so I don't use these too often. This one I use a bit more than this one because I can use this on dry hair as well. Uh, so if I curl my hair after uh, a couple of days from blow drying it I put this in again. Um, but again, I don't use these too often since I don't wash my hair that, that often But hopefully I will be able to make some progress on this product And then the last product as I said is also from Chi and this is their straight guard and it's a smoothing styling cream um, And this is also a heat protectant I believe um, But it's also more smoothing and I use this uh, after I washed my hair um, And I never use this really on dry hair so this will probably take longer to use up than the uh, iron guard but yeah I'm gonna continue using this every time I wash my hair and my starting point for this product is right there so those were all the products for this project pan I'm not really sure what I will call it yet but I'm sure you will see it back down in the title uh, but if you like project pan videos please give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you in my next video bye guys